Hi, I'm Quicksilver Studios with three eyes as in I don't have a pun for this intro. This video contains spoilers for Squirrel Flight's hope. So Squirrel Flight, Leaf Pool, and Moonlight are all buried in a rock slide. They drag Squirrel Flight's body out, but they can't get Leaf Pools out because it's too deep into the cave. Uh, are you sure we can't get both of my moms out? No, definitely not, no. Squirrel Flight and Leaf Pool are in cat heaven. Oh look, everyone I love is here. This is so great. It then becomes less great as they have to go to cat court. Um, why are we going to cat court? We have to judge whether or not we're going to send you to hell. What? Why would you send us to hell? We were good cats and we were very dedicated to you. Yeah, but you had medicine cat babies, and medicine cat babies are always destined to be evil forever, always. What? None of my kits were evil. Well, Lion Blaze and Hollyleaf killed people, and Jay Feather doesn't listen to us, so that's evil enough. Huh. Now I feel like even if I do stay, I'm going to be judged for the rest of my existence. This is a lot less fun. Somewhere in the distance overhearing the trial is Purdy. He decides that this is not going well, and he doesn't like it, so he's gonna go talk to someone who's alive to go fix it. Hmm, now who would be a good choice to fix this issue? One of the loyal ThunderClan cats that took me in and took care of me in my old years? Ooh, no, that one, that one, that one, definitely. Purdy clearly did not get the memo that StarClan does not like Soul. So Purdy tells Soul all about the horrible things he's just witnessed, and he asks Soul to do something about it. What am I supposed to do about it? I, I don't know, fix it. So Soul wanders over to the cave after everyone else has already left and decides to drag Leafpool out. Oh yeah, she's definitely dead. That sucks. Soul takes Leafpool back to his house because he has an evil plan. Since Soul has been living in a dumpster, he's been collecting scraps of metal. He takes Leafpool's body out to the top of a hill during a thunderstorm and puts a metal pole on her. She then gets frightened and comes back to life. Ha ha ha, yes! Now I can regain the trust of the clans by bringing back one of their trusted healers! Oh wait, she's still mortally wounded, whoops. So Soul patches her up, and after Leaf Fool's already decided she's going to stay in Star Clan, she gets yoinked back to the living world. Huh? Where am I? Why am I alive again? I saved you. I brought you back to life. What the fuck? Leaf Pool is awake, but she's still too injured to return to her clan, so Soul has her stay with him for a while so she can heal up. So wait, why did you save me? Oh, you know, to use your rescue to manipulate your clan into not believing in Star Clan again. What? Why would you do that? That's horrible. You literally went to Star Clan. How do you not understand that I was right about them? You weren't right about them. They're our warrior ancestors and they watch over us and keep us safe. So then why did they consider sending you to cat hell for doing what they told you to do? Well, that... Hey, you got a kind of a point there. So hey, you should be healed enough to travel soon. Do you want me to take you to your wing clan husband? Oh no, we broke up a while ago. I mean, it seemed like you really like him. Why did you break up? Oh, you know, because Star Clan told me to follow my heart and be with him. But then when I was with him, they punished me. But you two had the prophesized babies. Why would they punish you for that? Because the rules say we're not supposed to do that. But wasn't the whole thing that all the clans would be destroyed if your kids weren't born? Yeah. So why is that a bad thing? Wouldn't that be an exception? No, we're still breaking the rules. So following made-up rules of dead people is more important than preserving your clan and home? Oh my god, you got kind of a point there. Hey, so you're probably ready to travel now. Do you want me to take you to RiverClan with your RiverClan girlfriend? No, I can't be with her. That would be breaking the rules. Why? Because she's a medicine cat. But she doesn't even believe in Star Clan. Why would she follow their rules? Because she... Oh. No, I guess she doesn't really. So should she go to Cat Hell? No, of course not. She's still a great medicine cat and a good loyal warrior. Oh my god, I get it. So you're telling me all you really cared about was proving that Star Clan wasn't all powerful? Well, yeah, I never saw them fix anything. If anything, they did more harm than good. And look, they're keeping you from happiness and trying to send you to hell for doing what they told you to do. Oh yeah, that is kind of fucked up, isn't it? You know, you got a point. I know, right? Thank you. No one ever listens to me. Jesus Christ. Hey, so I've been kind of enjoying being out here and not having to follow Star Clan's rules and all that, but I miss my family. Can I go home now? <sighs> yeah. So Soul walks her home. Wait, aren't you gonna come inside so you can manipulate my clan into not believing in Star Clan? No, I don't really care about that anymore. I just appreciate being understood. Have a good life. Wow, Thunder Clan is so great. Everyone I love is here. Oh, Leafpool, thank goodness. Star Clan saved you. Star Clan's so great, isn't it? Um, they even brought you back to life. That's amazing. Wow, Star Clan is so kind and reasonable. Yeah, they do only good things and have only ever looked out for us. Look, I love you guys, but I'm really uncomfortable right now. Leafpool settles back in and decides to take a nap. Hey, Leafpool, hi, good to see you alive again. Oh, Purdy, hi, how's Star Clan? Um, it's Star Clan, but, uh, um, you know. Look, uh, my alive friend is kind of getting beat up right now. Is there anything you can do about that? What do you mean? 
Party shows Leaf Pool a vision of Sol getting his ass kicked by a fox. Oh jeez, that sucks. Hang on, Party, I gotta go. Leaf Pool runs back out into the middle of the woods where Sol's house is, but Sol is already dead. Ah shit, now what am I gonna do? Didn't he bring you back to life? Oh yeah, you got a point there. Leaf Pool grabs his scraps of metal and drags Sol on top of a hill. Phew, it's awfully convenient that it's a thunderstorm right now. Anyway, I better not stand too close. Sol is brought back to life. Leaf Pool doesn't die, but she did get struck by lightning, so she's not doing too great. What, hello? Oh, you saved me. Yeah, all that Star Clan worshipping stuff my clan was doing kinda made me really uncomfortable, so I'm back. So are you gonna stay here again? Yeah, why not? I mean, won't you like miss your family a lot? Like you really love your family, don't you? Listen, ThunderClan does not need three medicine cats, okay? Someone has to go. So Leafpool stays with Soul for a while while they both recover. Mostly Soul, because Leafpool is becoming lightning proof. So what did you mean before when you said no one ever listens to you about StarClan? Well, I joined SkyClan a long time ago, and that lady who you're named after kicked me out because I suggested that we don't need to listen to StarClan. Really? I thought it was because you were a shit warrior and you kidnapped her babies. And what about Blackstar? Well, yeah, pretty much the same. I finally got the clan to listen to me, but then later they just decided that they didn't want to listen to me anymore, so that went poorly. Really? I thought they kicked you out because you were starving the elders. Yeah, no, both of those things are things that the writer made up because they needed some reason for me to be a villain. Because I was actually right about StarClan, and if I wasn't doing inherently evil things, then I wouldn't be viewed as a villain anymore. So starving old people and kidnapping children was just a plot device used to make you look bad. Yeah, because we hadn't reached the point in the series where StarClan was viewed as more just individual people, and so if I didn't do inherently bad things, the fandom probably would have figured out sooner that StarClan was not all that great, and the writers still needed StarClan to be great for a while. Oh, so in this AU you didn't do any of those things. Yeah, pretty much. Oh no, I get it. You had a lot of very valid points that made me realize my faith in StarClan was probably misplaced, and that my connection with StarClan was more like an abusive, polyamorous relationship than a messenger from the gods. Well, you're like the only person I have ever convinced, so thank you for at least listening to me, that was very nice of you. Hey, so since I've already sacrificed connection with any of my previous relationships, and I've been pronounced dead for several months now, which proves that they are fully capable of moving on without me, do you want to, like, kiss? Oh yeah, sure, definitely.